Hi, I'm Mark Kenyon. And today's uh, tech tip, we want to talk about how to set up your scope to get a uh, vacuum waveform. Uh, we're going to be using our vacuum transducer. This happens to be a Pico transducer. We're going to be using our Pico scope today. But uh, what I want to do is I want to show you how to use the drop downs in the software and then where, our, where we're going to make our connection points. First thing we're going to need to do when we go to uh, capture a vacuum waveform is we're going to have to find a place uh, to get our vacuum readings. And on this vehicle, uh, it has a map sensor. So what we're going to do, and I've already, you can see I've already removed the bolt. We're going to go ahead and remove this map sensor. And then we're going to take the lead from our vacuum transducer and uh, the hose right here, test hose. And we're just going to get that down inside of there sealed up. You can also see that I've created a second channel here, a sink on the IC cylinder or IC signal in cylinder number one. Uh, this is going to allow us to, uh, as I said before, create that sink that we're going to need uh, with our pattern there. And uh, next thing, all we need to do at this point is to turn on our vacuum transducer. And <clears throat> let me go ahead and turn this on. Let me get this cable out of the way. And there's a couple of different settings. Uh, I have found that uh, what the manufacturer would want you to do is to set it on level three. But what I've found is that uh, cranking, you get a better pattern. It's easier to read if you come down to your zoom setting and go down to level three on that. That gives you your uh, finest zoom uh, pattern that you can see right there. And it uh, makes it a lot easier to see. You don't have to necessarily blow it up a lot uh, on, the, on the screen with your software. So let me just set that down right there. Okay. And then the last thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to cap off the throttle body. Because we're looking at small changes in pressure inside of that manifold, we want to be able to uh, keep as much outside air or basic of pressure out as possible. So what I'm going to do is... Just go ahead and set this cap right here in the throttle body. And you can see we've added a little tape to it to make it fit better. Okay, it wasn't a perfect fit to begin with. And at this point, I'm going to connect my lead to channel A, because when we use our drop down, it always uh, uses channel A. And all I need to do now is come up here to automotive. And I'm going to drop all the way down here at the bottom where it says pressure transducers. And it's asking me which transducer am I using. In this case, I'm using the WPS 500X. And then it says, okay, what kind of test are you doing? Well, I'm connected to the intake manifold. And I'm going to do a cranking test. It'll open up some software images that shows what the pattern's going to look like there. This is a known good pattern, not necessarily for this vehicle. It's just a generic representation of what we're going to see. What I want to do now is go ahead and click my start button. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and change my uh, PSI rating. I'm going to drop it to 2 PSI. As I said before, it's going to give us a little better image that we can see. And then I'm going to just go ahead and set up channel B for my... Uh, Five, or five volt signal we're going to get from the IC. All right, let's go ahead and get our cranking pattern. So let me get inside the vehicle here. And uh, GM does allow us to put the vehicle in clear flood, which means all I have to do is hold the throttle down and uh, we can crank the motor to get our waveform. So let me go ahead and do that. We'll crank it for a minute or so here to get a good waveform. That should do it. Yep. Go out here. And uh, let's check our waveform. So all we need to do now is let's hit our stop feature. Stop recording. And then we just come back and look at some of our frames. And we've got a pretty good frame right here. You can see. Matter of fact, let me zoom in on that just a little bit. And uh, we'll zoom in one more time and then just kind of manipulate our zoom box. Give us a little more height. 
Yeah, a little more depth here. That looks pretty good right there. Let me minimize this, kind of get him out of the way. So we can see that cylinder number one's firing event, cylinder number one firing again, and we've got our vacuum capture in between there. And uh, I can actually slide this up just a little bit if we want to. And that's pretty much all we need to do to get that waveform uh, with the combination of the tools and the drop downs makes it kind of easy. I'm Mark Kenny with Garage Gurus. For more helpful information like this, check out our website, garagegurus.tech. And for more helpful videos on tech tips, check out our YouTube channel. Thanks.